What's going on, everybody? Jay Lawson here. And today I'm going to be going over another ASVAB practice math word problem. In this uh, problem, we're going to be looking at some, basically a total number of uh, items. And we're going to look at percentages of those items to determine how many of each there are. So it's kind of like finding the percentages. So let's take a look and figure out what we got going on here. It says four children have small toys. Right. So let's take a step back. All right. So we're going to picture four kids playing with their toys. Right. So we got four kids with toys. The first child has one tenth of the toys. So that first kid that we're picturing, he's got a small amount of the toys, right? Most of the toys are not with him. He's only got one tenth. The second child has 12 more toys than the first. So the second kid's going to have way more toys, right? The third child has one more toy than what the first child has. And the fourth child has double the third child. How many toys are there? So let's think about what we heard. We know one's got double the amount of the other. One's got 12 more than the other, right? And one's only got one tenth. And then that third child has, what, one more than the, than the uh, first. So they got a pretty good amount of toys there. That 12 showed that, right? So we know we're not dealing with numbers like two or something like that for the high numbers. We've probably got, somebody's got, you know, pretty good amount of toys, right? So it wants to ask, it's asking us how many toys are there total? So what we're going to do is set up a variable for the total amount of toys. We'll call it X. X is going to represent the total amount of toys, right? So once we figure out what X is, it'll be, it'll tell us how many toys there are. We get X equals a number. So that's what we're trying to hone in on, right? Okay, so now what we need to do, what I like to do below that, where it says X equals toy, what we want to do is set up formulas for boy one, boy two, boy three, and boy four, right? So if the four children have small toys and the first child has one-tenth of the toys, then that means boy one is going to have one-tenth of the toys, Right? So one tenth X is boy one. Now, the second part. The second child has 12 more toys than the first. So boy two has 12 more than boy one. So what we'll do is we'll put boy one, one tenth X plus 12. I'm sorry, one tenth X, and then the plus 12 is because boy two has 12 more than the first. So boy two has 12 more, uh, 12 more toys than the first one tenth X plus 12. Now, what does it say for the third part? The third child has one more toy of what the first child has. So the first child had one tenth X, right? Boy one. So boy three has one more toy than boy, boy one. So one tenth X plus one would be boy three. Now the fourth child has double the third child. So the third child has one tenth X plus one. But the boy four has double. So two times one tenth X plus one. So now we have all four boys and we have a way we can 
figure out basically if we if we can figure out the value of x then we will uh be able to solve this so what we want to do is add because it's the total amount of toys is what we need right we want to add boy 1 plus boy 2 plus boy 3 plus boy 4 and that should equal x because remember x is the total amount of toys so let's do this let's look at the first two boys boy 1 and boy 2 1 tenth x for boy 1 plus 1 tenth x plus 12 if we just added those two together then we for boy 1 and boy 2 we would get 2 tenths x plus 12 because 1 tenth plus 1 tenth is 2 tenths x and then you got the plus 12 you have to remember to carry that over so that value represents boy 1 and 2 I'm, what I'm doing is consolidating so it makes it a little easier to add. So what I'm going to do for boy 3 is I'll just bring him over. Boy 3 has 1 tenth x plus 1 of the toys. And the reason why I did that is because if you look at boy 4, we can't just add boy 3 and boy 4 the way it is. We have to, we have to combine... Uh, you know the terms of multiply out the two times what's in the parentheses with the one tenth x plus one in order to be able to add it so boy four has two times one tenth x plus one so two and remember on this situation you'd add you'd multiply the two times each thing in the parentheses so two times one tenth x is two tenths x and two times one see the plus one there is two so two tenths x plus two now we have all three values and all we have to do is simply add so and we have like denominators as well so we can keep everything with the like denominators for now so we're going to say 2 tenths x plus 1 tenth x plus 2 tenths x is 5 tenths x. And 12 plus 1 plus 2 is 15. So we got 5 tenths x plus 15. Now let's go ahead and reduce that 5 tenths because that's obviously 1 half, right? So 1 half x plus 15 is equal to x and remember it's because x is the total value of the toys and boy one boy two boy three boy four we just added to get the total value of toys because we have four kids with toys and we add them all together the end result is going to be the total amount of the toys we got right so one half x plus 15 is equal to x. Now what we need to do is isolate the x. So if you see that x by itself and you see the half x, the half x is going to be easier to get rid of. So let's get rid of one half x from both sides so we can isolate the 15 and get a value uh, portion for x if we take one half from this from the left side we're going to be left with 15 by itself right equals 15 and if we take x on the right side minus one half x it's going to be one half x so we've got one half x is equal to 15 so half of the toys is equal to 15 so obviously, if half of the toys is equal to 15, then all the toys are equal to 30. And what you could do to get that is just divide the 15 by one half, and you're going to get 30, because there's 30 halves in 15. 
But that's one of those things where you should just be able to look at it and say, if I know half of the toys are 15, like if I say half my dollars are 15, I know I got 30 bucks, right? So we're going to look at it realistically because some of the stuff we can just kind of cruise through. Now, let's go back and check because we've got that the total amount of toys is 30. And we know that that's correct, right? But what we want to do is verify. And this is the key step a lot of people miss when they're taking these ASVAB tests and things like that. Um, a little bit about me. I'm in the military and I'm uh, an NCO and I've, I've done a lot of tutoring on the ASVAB. And this step, if you do this step, it will keep you from having to, uh, I mean, you'll get more right because you'll, what you'll do is you'll catch some of your mistakes every now and then and you'll be able to check your own work. So, you know, those guys that are like when they turn their paper in and they're like, man, I know I got 19 out of 20 right. It's because they know because they check their work, you know. So work this step in and you for sure will be doing better as well. So to check our work, we know that the total number of toys is 30, right? So let's go back and read it and plug in what we know. For ch four children have small toys. The first child has one tenth of the toys. So one tenth of 30 is three. The second child has 12 more toys than the first. The first child has three. So if the second child has 12 more, then he has 15. The third child has one more toy than what the first child had. The first child had three. So if this third guy has one more, then he has four. The fourth child has double the third child. So if the fourth one has, or the third one has four, then the fourth one has eight. So now we just simply need to add those up. And if you do, you will see that the answer checks out with 30. I hope you enjoyed this explanation on this uh, practice math problem. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you always aim for legendary, you will land in success. I'm out.